Welcome back to the Living Higher series. This week we're continuing the theme of the three weeks and this week's topic is fighting fire with fire. In this week's parsha, Parshas Matis, in Parak Lamed, Pasuk of Gimel, it says, Kol dover be'esh, saviru be'esh. This is referring to when you have a something utensil that you use to cook with, that you want to kosher, you want to make a kosher. So what the Pasuk is telling us is that if it's a, however it is used, that's how you kosher it. For example, if it's a pot, if it's something that you use to cook with water, what you have to do is you have to immerse it in boiling hot water. However, if it is something that is used directly in the fire, for example, the grate of a grill or a spit that you used to roast on, then you have to make it white hot, put it into fire until it gets white hot. This is what the Pasuk and this week's parsha is referring to. But then the Nesiva Shalom, he says a very interesting idea. He says that this Pasuk is also hinting to the Beis HaMikdash. That what? By the Beis HaMikdash it says, Be'esh yitzasa, u'be'esh ata With fire you took it, with fire you destroyed, you took the Beis HaMikdash, and with fire the Beis HaMikdash is going to be rebuilt. The third Beis HaMikdash is going to be rebuilt with fire. And then Nesiva Shalom says, that us Yidin, in order to bring the Beis HaMikdash, we have to use an Eish Kodesh, we have to use a holy fire, we have to utilize a holy fire in order to bring the third Beis HaMikdash. So what's an example of a holy fire of an Eish Kodesh? So to back up a drop, in Parshas Vayako, it says something very interesting over there, it's talking about Shabbos, it says, Lo Yisaviru Eish, you shouldn't kindle a fire in all your dwelling places on the day of Shabbos. And the Shlach Kaddish tells us that this Pasuk is a remez not just to actual fire, not just not to make a fire on Shabbos, but not to have another fire on Shabbos as well. He says not to have the Esh of Machlekes, the fire of, of Machlekes, of disharmony of discord and argument. He says that on Shabbos is a time that we're all home from work, we're all together as community, and it's very possible that Machlokes could break out. He said the Pasuk says be very careful not to let the fire of Machlokes behold Moshe Seichem in all your dwelling places on the Shabbos. So we see that Machlokes, a lack of harmony amongst the Yidin, is called fire. But there's another fire, there's another Esh as well, and that Esh is, if you take the Aleph and the Shin of Esh, the Aleph is Ahava, love, and the Shin is Shalom. There's another fire, a fire of Kedusha, a fire of Ahava Yisrael, a fire of Shalom, a fire of peace amongst the Eden. How do we know that Ahava, that love, could be called a fire? So in Shira Shirim, in Perechess, Pasuk Zion, the Pasuk says, Mayim Rabin, lo yuchlu l'chavois es Ahava, es Ahava. The previous Pasuk in Shira Shirim talks about how fire, a passionate love, is called, um, is called a, a fire. It's called blazing flames. And this Pasuk is telling us, Mayim Rabin, a lot of water, referring to the nations of the world, Lo yuchlu lechavos esahava. Lo yuchlu lechavos esahava. It's not able to extinguish the love. This fiery love, this passionate love that Kosh Baruch Hu has for us Yidin cannot be extinguished by the nations of the world. But what do we see? We see that there's another fire. There's a fire of Ahava. The second base of Mikdash was destroyed because of sin of Shinam. The age that destroyed the second base of Mikdash was a lack of harmony, sin of Shinam, argument and discord amongst the Bnei Yisrael. And Chazal tell us, this is in the first Yushalmi and Yuma, Chazal tell us that Koshalay Sivne base of Mikdash Biyamav, Kilun Nechra Biyamav. If the base of Mikdash is not built in your days, it's as if it's destroyed in your days. The third base of Mikdash is going to be rebuilt with a fire of Kedusha, with a fire of Ahava and Shalom. We need to take that fire and utilize it, use the Kayach of an Eshev Mikdusha to build a third base of Mikdash. Let's try to live a little higher and let's realize that sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. You know, when there's a, a forest fire, when there's a completely out of control forest fire, so one of the techniques that the firefighters do to put out the fire when the water is not working, is they'll actually create a burn line. They'll do controlled burning around the perimeter of the fire so that when the fire goes out, reaches there, there'll be no fuel for the fire to have and the fire will go out. 
but they can't wait until the fire really reaches that point. They have to be proactive to fight fire with fire. And that's what we have to do. We have to proactively fight fire with fire. We have to proactively fight the ish of machlekes, fight the ish of disharmony, of discord between our brothers and sisters with a fire, with an ahava, with shalom, pursuing shalom, pursuing peace, and pursuing ahavas Yisrael, no matter who they are, no matter where they're holding. And that's how we're going to build the third base of Mikdash, Be'ezah Hashem Yisbarach, this year.